there's no way she decided to buy an apartment in the coldest area in this town. I do not believe it. Oh my god. Uh, hello? Um, hi. Did you just close the door on me? Do you realize it is negative degrees outside right now? I am going to turn into an ice cube. Can I come in, please? Thank you. How, uh, have you been? No, yeah, I've been, um, okay. How's the moving process going? Oh, I just guessed it because I saw you post on your um, Instagram and, you know, you had a new house post and then for some reason you dropped the address on your story for people to come visit you, which in my professional opinion, that's kind of a dumb idea. But anyways, I just wanted to come by and uh, say hi to you and talk. Yeah, talk. I, I'm just going to put this out there like straightforward. I miss you. Like there isn't, there really isn't anything to beat around the bush. You know, it's just. I just want to talk about us. Do you miss me? At times? Well, I can understand that. No, 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 but really, like, it's really cold outside. Are you crazy? My, my bad for <laughs> getting off topic. Um. Well, before we get too deep into the convo, do you think I can get a tour of your house? Yeah, I'd love that. Your house, well, your apartment is absolutely beautiful. You have such a spacious living room, and your kitchen is so big, even though it's just you. And you have a laundry machine, too? Oh my god, you're living the dream, huh? But my personal favorite room is the bedroom. Because that bed definitely looks like it could hold two people. I'm crossing boundaries. I'm sorry, my love. I didn't mean to. Don't cross. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just so used to putting the word love next to your face. I try my best to. Refrain from that. So, um, back to the combo by hand. I know it's been two months since we broke up, but in those two months, I've had a lot of time to reflect and to really come to terms with my emotions and my feelings and I just want to say I'm sorry I, I want to say I'm sorry for everything sorry for all the times I fucked up sorry for wasting every single chance it gave me just I'm just sorry for being so bad to you Sorry isn't going to cut it. 
baby, I'm sorry, listen. We've dated for a very long time. And, like, you're just going to throw all that away just because of a little mishap? I was under the influence, and I, I, I was stupid. I, I understand that I was stupid. I'm, and I'm telling you now that I won't do it again. Because I'm saying I won't do it again. You can trust me. I know I've said that before, but this time, I really mean it. Listen, maybe if you give me a hug, it'll jog your memory. Come here. Mm. Why'd you slap me? I was just taking what is mine. Your neck looked very kissable just then, so I kind of couldn't, you know, hold back. But you know you're playing a very dangerous game, right? You know I like it when you hit me. You know pain very much so turns me on. And I could tell by the hug I just gave you that you still miss me. You were grabbing onto my shirt a little too hard. You are wonderful. Well, that's all I really came here for. I tried to express myself to you, but it wasn't enough. So, um, I'll be seeing myself out. Ciao. What was that for? You still miss me. You knew the slap was going to make me feel some type of way, huh? You cheeky little brat. So, what does that mean for us? You're willing to give me a second chance. Follow me. Just follow me. I've kind of been holding myself back, but I kind of can't do that anymore. Take off your shirt. You heard what I said. I said, take off your shirt. your hand there. Oh, no. Oh.